What is going on everybody, John Blade 101 here again and I'm back with another video and today we've got a pretty cool topic, something I really wanted to talk about for a little while here and is it, is Batman v Superman, DC's next movie in their cinematic universe, too overstuffed? Well that may seem like a weird question at first but I actually have some um, real um, ideas on this and I think there's something maybe I'm a little worried about it so let's just jump right in and see what we find so one of the things I noticed about this movie is that it seems like it has even since its launch I mean its announcement it's had a lot of characters being announced for this movie just like Wonder Woman was eventually announced I mean Batman v Superman was just initial announcement was just Batman v Superman I was like okay Wonder Woman is added okay as long as it's just a cameo she's revealed to have a bigger role now there's there was rumors of cyborg flash and aquaman aquaman later on but i'll get to that in a minute so they had there was rumors that cyborg was going to make an appearance i said okay um this flash was going to make an appearance okay and we have aquaman making an appearance too and jason momoa cast as aquaman um okay uh this seems like i know that I know what you guys may say in the comment section below is that, well, they're just going to be cameos and blah, blah, blah. Well, there are some plot rumors. I'm not saying these are take these 100%, but if these are to be true, I think they're rushing Justice League a little bit. So a lot of some stuff has come from Reddit. Some um, some sources from Reddit who have been actually right a couple of times in the past making details about Batman v Superman and how the Justice League at the end of the movie are kind of going to be already um, together, kind of like knowing each other and stuff like that they're not going to have like their own the uh, justice league like how they came together story it's kind of just to be like everyone's together that's one theory and then sometimes they'll be like at the very end of the movie they'll come they'll the flash and cyborg and aquaman will all come together and they'll stop doomsday or lex luthor or whoever they're gonna fight i guess it's actually the villain part later but that's one of the th theories as well so another one that came out a bunch of just a bunch of conspiracy not conspiracies but you know uh, fan theories out there and some people claiming the seeing the movie already and all this and all that claiming that you know this movie is going to end up this way and I'm thinking I'm not sure I like the way the direction they're going to go so I'll, I'll probably just get to the movies and I'll probably just like chronologically just list all my problems with this but I think that before they I'm okay, I'm okay with them having small cameos okay if it's, they're having small cameos that's, that's one thing uh, maybe if you can have a moment with Aquaman or something like that at some point in the film. I don't know, maybe show his face to a couple seconds, the Flash a couple seconds, but I don't want an extended period of time when they're on camera. Like, if some of these rumors are true and and it's like they're all at the end talking, I mean, they're all like know each other and they're all working together seamlessly and stuff like that, I think they're missing out on a really good story. And even though they already did it, or Marvel already did it, I would still like to see how the um, Justice League comes together in a full-fledged film. I think that's just part of their charm too because they all have pretty different personalities in their own regards so i like to see their dynamic before they just act like they already know each other and all that stuff like that i just think that i think playing it like where we get a movie about every character before we get the big team up movie is necessary i don't think batman was necessarily necessary but people like wonder woman who's never had like a full-fledged like super high budget like film and like and if she did i don't know what it is and then you have aquaman who's never had one neither is the flash and i just think these characters deserve a pretty um a big blockbuster appearance before they get this their big introduction into the dcu so i think that for right now this is just really what i want i just want to have a movie first before we have a justice league movie but we're not going to get that actually if you look at the film schedule wonder woman after this and then it's justice league and then it, then we get our flash aquaman and I think Cyborg comes later, but I think we do get a Flash and Aquaman movie. Then we get Justice League Part 2. Like, we get the individual movies after the team-up movie. So, we're not going to really know th too much about these characters in the Justice League or Batman v Superman, if the rumors are true, until after they've teamed up. Like, I find that just to be a little weird. And maybe they're just trying to do it to just not, you know, be like Marvel. But I think in that regard, Marvel had the right formula on how to build up your superhero team movies. I mean, it could all be, all of this can be, this movie can be still fantastic and all this stuff I'm saying could be completely ir irrelevant when the movie comes out. But I'm just saying my little worries about the movie and I, how I think it might be a little overstuffed. So the other thing I want to talk about here is the villains, okay? And there's so many speculations about the villains, okay? We didn't know, at least I had a suspicion that it was Doomsday. There were some people that was claiming he, he did, it was Doomsday. I didn't really believe it. I think that doomsday should have been saved for the next superman film or those film after that they make three films i think that doomsday should have been waited 
should have they should have waited to use Doomsday for a later appearance, but um it just seems off to me. I don't understand why you have to use Doomsday so early. I know that, you know, just you need a villain big enough for Superman, Wonder Woman, and Batman to fight, but I would have been okay with maybe like um what's uh Bizarro or uh Brainiac or some other villain or even Lex Luthor himself. I don't know. Well I think Lex Luthor could have been a fine villain for the movie just by himself, but um, not really with this Lex Luthor, but when they originally announced that Lex Luthor, well, I never really had faith in this Lex Luthor, who's being played by Jesse Eisenberg, but I thought that maybe they could spin in a way where this Lex could still be a threat, but maybe have his quirks or whatever. And it doesn't seem too much like in the, from the trailers that he's going to be that much of a serious threat, at least at least what I've seen of him. I might, Maybe you guys feel different, but I just don't feel it. But... um. Like I said about Bizarro, there was actually rumors that Bizarro might be in the movie as well because I believe one of the um, people behind the movie said something about a Superman a reproduction of Superman or something like that on his Twitter. I'm not sure if he was um, telling the truth or not, but he did allude to something like Bizarro being on screen. And I'm just like, no, I don't think Bizarro and Doomsday would be a good combo. And then you have Lex, who has been in by the toys, if the toys are anything to be to go by which i think it is is that lex and he's going to be in his battle suit in this movie as well along with doomsday i think that if they're going to just pick doomsday they could just stay with doomsday i think he's big enough on his own to be a villain of this movie but even then i just don't think that doomsday they should have picked doomsday because there's really no point in my eyes of doomsday's character if he doesn't kill superman like he does in the comics. that's what made us kind of interested in him again that's what made him iconic is that he killed superman but obviously this this early on in the cinematic universe for dc you can't kill off superman unless they do and they pull off a really ballsy move but i don't think they're going to kill off superman so i don't really see a point of doomsday unless you just have senseless bat just action which i i which is awesome i'm, I'm not going to say i'm not going to be enthralled in the theaters but afterwards i'm going to be kind of like well that didn't seem very that seemed kind of pointless to me that's just my opinion um I just think that this movie is going to be a little too... I hope this movie is just not a big just cluster of of just a bunch of fan service. I just actually want it to be a sensible and realistic and... I'm not realistic, but an, a nice flowing plot to this movie. And that's what I'm worried that might not happen. And I really want the DCU to succeed. But it doesn't seem like... I just don't... Every time I want... I really want to like this movie. But every time I think about it, it just like seems like this movie might be... A, might, you know, mess up. I, I hope it doesn't. But something in the back of my mind is telling me that some things just don't seem like it's going to make a great film. But who knows? Maybe I could be completely wrong and the movie will turn out great. And I, I have nothing to worry about. So I'll, I'll still see it anyway. Just to give you guys my thoughts on it. But yeah. Uh, tell me what you think about this. Do you think the movie's too overstuffed? Do you like Do you like that they may have all the Justice League already teamed up and know each other by the end of the movie? Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Alright then. This is John Blood 101 everybody. And I bid you a good day. Have a good one.